Hey, Will Snipeselli here. Um, this is the uh, supplemental uh, learning homework for uh, from ICT's New Week Opening Gap. Um, so if you haven't seen that video, watch that first. I'll have that linked and then we'll kind of jump in. So um, I'm kind of just going through and um, showing uh, how you set up the uh, New Week Opening Gap. So what we're working on right now is the actual. So the actual New Week Opening Gap is Friday's closing price to Sunday's opening price. So that's kind of what I'm documenting here. Uh, just going to each week using the calendar icon, kind of marking that out. It, it took me about 10 minutes and I went all the way back to January. So um, just kind of showing this. Mm -hmm. um, so right now I have the new week um, opening gap actual. So like I said, it's the Friday closing price to Sunday's opening. And then I'm going to copy this template here and um, we'll flip to the new week opening gap, which is Friday's closing price to Monday's opening price. So I kind of copied the template and then we'll kind of go over, we'll, we'll kind of jump into more detail. So this is the uh, new week opening gap. And like I said, this is Friday's closing price to Monday's opening. So you can see I'm just, I copied that template. And I'm just moving it from Sunday to like the Monday opening, doing the fib, getting the 50%. On this one, I I, uh, I think I like changing the colors so I can see which week is which. Um, so you can see I'm kind of um, experimenting around with this. So I would suggest you kind of find find what works for you. Um, not necessarily. I mean, feel free to you know copy what I'm doing, but. Um, I think I just like to be able to easily identify which new week opening gap it is. Um, so yeah, we're just kind of going through, like I said, I'm going from just doing it from January um, up until current date. So um, we will uh, jump in and do a, uh, a, uh, a deeper review. All right, so uh, here we are, we have the new week opening gap actual, and then I have the just the new week opening gap. Um, so. We're looking at the one hour here. Let's go ahead and jump to the four hour. I kind of like this view a little bit better. But you can see, um, like I said, all the way back to January, I just kind of put a marker here for each Sunday. So you can kind of see like these are each, you know, these are the weeks. And you can see what he's saying about the market structure here, if you, you know, you're kind of paying attention. But it's kind of crazy on how, you know, some of these are reacting at certain levels, like it coming up, touching here. Um, just kind of where it kind of finds support and not. So um, I went ahead and did, he said, go ahead and do um, uh, the NASDAQ. So I have that here. We'll kind of flip through each of these. So NASDAQ, um, this is kind of what this one looks like. So kind of cool to see how this looks. Um, we will do... Uh, the Dow, I have this one marked as well. So you can kind of see how this looks, how it kind of comes up, touches this. All choppy, you know, that range bound that we've had for the past, you know, month or so, and then finally getting some movement down. Um, I also did the dollar. So we'll look at the dollar. And like I said, this is the new week opening gap actual, which that is Friday's closing price to Sunday's opening price. Um, so you can see the dollar here, um, which is kind of cool to see, uh, just having these in mind and, you know, using them as a reference, uh, we'll see how it uh, goes going forward. So let's go ahead and flip over to the new week opening gap. And so what we'll do, let me flip back to, um, yes. And I'll kind of toggle back and forth so you can kind of see the difference. So just kind of taking a glance here, the they're kind of different in you know certain ways, um, just because those prices are a little bit different. Like let's look at right here for like the ninth. So it kind of comes up to this, the. Uh, January 16th, and let's see what it does on. So it kind of, it's it's like pretty similar for at least this one, but 
this is kind of what I'll be studying um, probably later tonight and on a, on a Sunday. Just kind of looking, I'm probably going to print these out and just kind of looking and kind of studying this. You know, this is the, the homework that ICT gave us. Um, so, like I said, we're on the new week opening gap. Let's check some of the other NASDAQ. I went ahead and did them all. So it took me about, um, going back to January, it took me probably about 10 minutes each. But now, now that I have this set up, I just have to add the new week. So it should be pretty easy going forward. Uh, there's a little bit of legwork um, just to kind of get this all set up. We'll go look at the Dow. And it's just kind of crazy how you can see it come down and hit consequent encroachment of this. And just, so I'm gonna kind of go through and make some notes on some of the stuff that I'm seeing, but um, this is kind of really cool that he shared this with us. And then here's the, the dollar. So um, but yeah, um, I hope you guys uh, found this insightful. Um, with this, so like I said, I went, I started with the actual, and I don't know if you have to, you you may have to have a, a premium or something, but I just hit this and I went to make a copy. And then that's how I started to use the, uh, the uh, new week opening gap. And I just moved the Sunday to Monday, to Monday 9.30 opening. So save me a little bit of time. Um, once you get the first template set up, you can kind of copy and go from there. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, leave me a like or a comment. Um, if you know, if, there, if you guys have any questions, I'll be happy to, you know, to answer them if I can. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching.